Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy DC The Truth. This video, I just have a question to ask Skip Bayless. I know he would never hear it, but Skip, 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 why do you talk about the same topics on the show? When we when we talk when we talk about the NFL, it's always Brady, 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 Brady. Check this out, y'all. Brady won the Super Bowl Sunday. It is now Thursday. And that's all Skip is talking about the whole show. And <clears throat> I'm not going to blame nobody but Skip Bayless because there's something in my brain telling me Skip is up to this. It was the same thing when he was on first take. It's like, why do we keep having these same conversations? So I think Skip has something to do with these topics being presented for the most part. Because if he ain't always on LeBron, uh, uh, um, you know, people say well, yeah, he he do hate LeBron. You know, it, it's always what LeBron don't feel short of, or if it's how how the greatest the greatest quarterback Brady is. It's like, damn, we want to hear every now and then they will mix it up if something dramatic happened in the NFL, dramatic happened in the NBA. Like, man, we want to hear about more more than just Brady. I mean, football is over right now, and you're still talking about Tom Brady. He won the Super Bowl. Congratulations. Let it go. You're just gloating. You know, if that was Shay Sharp, let, let that have been on, on the other side. He'd have been, he would put on his little piece, probably goat mask or something like that, and, and he would have been done with it. You know, Skip. Skip. New goat in town, you know, Skip. You know, he would have been done with it, but I do believe Skip Bayless is the reason these conversations keep just being, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I haven't looked at the other networks on Fox, maybe ESPN and all, you guys let me know in the comment section. Maybe everybody's just talking about uh, Tom Brady. You know, I, I don't know, maybe for the ratings, but at some time, I remember some years ago I was listening to uh still I guess the NBA finals. They hang around on that too, especially if LeBron is involved. And I was listening to it. I remember one guy was like, Man, damn, are they gonna talk about something else? You know, lo and behold, is you know, it's cool. I get it the first especially when they first win. I could see maybe the first hour. But the first out the hours and days upon shows upon shows. It's been four days now. Kobe didn't get that much attention when he died. Y'all had one little segment, it was over with. But man, it, I'm just asking Skip Bayless, can we, the people, hear something else for crying out loud? Especially, especially when it comes to the NBA, it it never fails. It's either, I and I think all these topics is what Skip wants to talk about. If it ain't the Brooklyn Nets, the Big Three, he think they just the greatest trio. They got a hole in their defense. Like man, bro, they no, it's because that seven foot monster Kevin Durant, the best player in the world, is not here. Okay. It's the same thing. Like, it's more than just Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie, and LeBron in the NBA. Like, man, can we can, can we put some light on these other superstars? I didn't hear you say nothing about Donovan Mitchell dropping that uh dropping that guy. How my man Chris Moore would say, give that guy a map. I ain't hear nothing about that. You know, it's like, man. I don't know. This is it's, it's, that's that one gripe I have about Skip Bayless. It was like they even in first take. I don't know who's behind the scenes coming up with this topic. I would like to thank you, Skip Bayless, because everything he says, even on his Twitter, 
every everything he regurgitates. And when he fin and when he finishes, it's always a show segment about it. I guarantee you this Tom Brady talk is gonna go on until Monday. I guarantee you. It'll be Friday he's still over there talking about Tom Brady. But matter of fact, I should try to, I should turn on the TV now just to check. Okay, I came back with my remote. Now the topic is comparing LeBron to Tom Brady. I can't, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it no more. Now, let me cut, let me cut the TV off just in case y'all hear it. Now all that aside, I mean, y'all can tell that I, I love the show Undisputed. Uh, it, it's no doubt. Shannon Sharp is the heart of that show, man. I mean, there's no, he was an entertainer when he was in the NFL. Help is on the way. Call <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about, but man, you know, I mean, you know, Shannon Sharp. I like one skip left the other network, as they call it. Well, I ain't got to say other network. Uh, when he left uh, ESPN first tape, he came over here to Fox. I'm like, okay. And he brought Shannon Sharp on. I like, oh boy, I know this gonna be something, cause I, you know, I, I went to school with one of uh, Shannon Sharp's uh, cousins. So I already know. I like man, you know Shannon Sharp. I like man, this dude with a fool. I don't be cutting up over there. He don't know how to behave himself. But yeah, man, you know, I mean, undisputed is my, uh, you know, basically one of my sports uh, shows or whatever, my favorite show on the Fox Network. I mean, cause I do not like uh, first thing. Uh, what was it? First thing first. Uh, Nick Wright on there. I mean, it, Nick Wright's a clown. I mean, er, you know, er, ever since they got rid of the uh, man, I can't think of his name right now, the brother. But uh, I don't really watch that. I really can't stand um the herd. So you know, I'm yeah. Right now, I'm just. No, I'm just rambling right now, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the video. My 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 main gripe was just skip Bayless, man. Can we get some other topics, please? I know you behind it. This has been your boy DC the Truth, man. I'm about to sign this thing on that for real. Oh shoot. I'm tripping. I thought I seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all.